excuse the interruption, take one with a live studio audience. This dude! We got our live studio audience here again. Welcome back everybody, live studio audience again. We got Mr. Koch's film class today, so welcome everybody. Glad Season you 3, here. episode 10. I'm excited. I'm excited, Mr. Big. We had, you know, thank God we made it to this week, because last week was kind of crazy. We were busy with testing for our juniors. They did a great job on testing. And we also had some uh, fun events running down at the gym. We had the Student Olympics this past week. Everybody did an amazing job. Um, senior class. We were senior class. class. We had, yeah. the senior class had Senior Olympics. They had bingo. Bingo was a big hit. Big hit. Big hit. And we had a great presentation from the New Jersey Sharing Network on organ and donation. Of course, yes. And, and, and we event. had the volleyball tournament. That was great. That was great. So seniors, great job. Great job. Mr. Bergando, do we want to get it? Like, yeah, let's started get right, right into away? it. Let's get into it. We're currently in the preseason for spring sports. Our teams are all working hard getting ready for opening day, which will be April 1st. They've had some pretty great weather the last week to get started, so we're excited for that to uh, happen. That will be April 1st, opening day. Can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. So we want to give a special welcome to members of our dance team who are here with us today. I'm going to let Mr. B, you're going to be able to introduce them, okay. and I can't wait to hear more about dance team because... You know, Miss Barossi, she's like the, the advisor for dance team, and she's like our own dancing queen. So hopefully, hopefully we'll hear some great news about dance exchange. Today we have Akshar and Ari here, and they're going to tell us a little bit more about what uh, happens over at dance exchange. So I'm going to get up. They're going to take my spot, and uh, we'll go from there. That's right, Mr. Bergando. Today we're welcoming Akshara and Aria, who are, uh, who are on the company manager team for the JFK Memorial High School Dance Exchange. So you're going to talk to Mr. B. You're going to tell him all about Dance Exchange and what exactly is Dance Exchange. So the Dance Exchange is a student-led organization at John F. Kennedy Memorial High School. Dance Exchange is built entirely on the choreography and creativity of students who are here to share their knowledge and love of dance with each other. Many of the students had no prior formal dance training, actually. Students in Dance Exchange choreograph and learn dances to be performed in our annual performance. This year will be our 11th annual Dance Exchange performance. So what kind of dances can we expect to see at the performances? So Dance Exchange prides itself on culture of diversity. This year you will see dances of the following styles. Latin hip-hop, K-pop, Bollywood, Bhangra, Lyrical, Bharatanatyam slash Kuchipudi, to name a few. That's great. When is the performance and how can we get tickets? The performance is April 7th at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6.45 p.m., so get there early. Tickets are being sold during lunches and after school. Pre-sale tickets are $5 and $10 at the door. We are super excited to perform for all of you, so tell your friends and family and come out for a fun night of dancing. So thank you to Dance Exchange for that great information. And, you know, Mr. B, I love going to the Dance Exchange Showcase. I've been to almost all of them, and we have so many talented students here and so many varieties of, of dance that I wasn't even aware of because I'm usually just doing the twist or something <laughs> like that, you know, but, but they are like awesome, so it's very impressive. So I encourage all of you, get out to yeah, the Dance to Exchange see. Showcase. It's, it's a great tickets. event. <laughs> what do we have up next, Miss D? Mr. B, every episode gets better and better. We just keep expanding on things. But today, today we have a published author right here at JFK Memorial High School, Stephanie Ute, our senior Stephanie Ute. <laughs> Amazing senior Stephanie Ute wrote a book recently titled For the Love of Differences, all right? Here's Stephanie right on the back, all right? Okay. <laughs> And Mr. Bergando, you're going to speak with that famous author, Stephanie, about her book uh, right now. So I'm really, really looking All forward right. to it. I didn't even know Stephanie did that. So I didn't either. Is, I'm uh, excited. We learn something new every episode. This is great. So Stephanie's going to come on down and uh, we're set. All right. So, Steph, what made you want to write this book? Um, well, a lot of things made me want to write this book. My first spark of inspiration came from my parents' Chinese restaurant, Young's Garden. Um, during COVID, I was working there pretty much every single day after school due to lack of employers. I quickly realized that customers were kind of being prejudiced and insensitive in relating COVID to a Chinese business. Fast forward to December, I began student observations in Ms. Jarima's third grade class. And as diverse as JFK is, the classroom I was in kind of just blew me away. 
these nine-year-olds were telling me stories about their family culture and knowing that there aren't many children books about such sensitive topics and hoping to become an elementary school teacher, it was like a sign I have to like publish this book some way, somehow. <laughs> That's great. It seems like you put a real lot of um, effort into this. So how long did it take you to write this book? I wrote this really, really rough draft um, of this book after a whole year of virtual learning. Um, I read it to my cousins and some of my, some of my friends. It felt like it just wasn't there yet, and it probably still can be better even though it's published. <laughs> but I revised it, revised it again and again, and it took roughly like eight to nine months for me to be like, all right, this is something I'm proud of to put out there. And who is the illustrator of the book, and uh, how did you partner up? Uh, my illustrator is Riley Ivanitsky, and she is super talented. She's actually from my Tomorrow's Teachers class at Woodbridge. And we had to make children books with the partner and kind of like present them to the class. And when I saw Riley and her partner's illustrations, it was simple, yet like it was cheerful. It just like made me happy. So at the end of the story, her partner was like, oh yeah, Riley illustrated this. And that's when I reached out, and that's when I wanted to work with her. Excellent. And what does your family think of your writing? Um, my family thinks it's super cool. One of my cousins actually helped me throughout the whole process when I needed name ideas or just rant about stressful parts of the process. I know my mom shared it with her friends and it was just funny because I'm like, this is a children's book. You guys are like 40, but you know, they have kids. <laughs> and what was one of the most surprising things you learned in creating your book? The most surprising thing I learned was how much I was learning from creating the book because I have personal connections to the settings and characters in the book because you know there's things I've experienced so my first draft was kind of like a diary for me I was writing these big words and some of them were angry words and some sentences just didn't make sense so putting words in a way that younger minds can kind of understand and grasp helped me better express myself and my future goals And have you had any feedback from your readers? Um, yes, yeah, so I do hear from our readers. My book is relatively new, but my teachers at JFK has been super supportive of my book. And they've bought it, they've asked me to sign it. Mrs. Smith actually told me about how she read it to her daughter named Parker, and I have a character in my book named Parker, so that was kind of cute. Um, my friends have read it to their younger cousins and told me how the story really helps kind of just see different perspectives. My cousin's friends brought it, and she has a sister, sister who's actually a teacher, so they really like the book, too. <laughs> well, it sounds really awesome. I have three children myself, and I'd love to get a copy. So can you tell us how we can get a copy of that? Yes, so it's actually on Amazon. It's like only eight bucks, so yeah, you should go get a copy. <laughs> That was really that great. That was amazing. You know, I, I, I got to get onto Amazon right after and, and this. And buy that uh, book. I mean, yeah, we, we really do have so many talented students we in, really in our school. So that was that was really great. Uh, and I'm, it seemed like you really enjoyed putting that book, book together. And, it, and for, for young kids to read it, yeah. it's really going to put a perspective on, on things. So, Mr. B, here it is. You know what time it is, Mr. B? No. What time is it? What time is it? Anybody know? It's time for Mr. B's Word, Word of the Day. day. Well, today's word of the day is coincide. It's a verb meaning to happen at or near the same time. We planned our trip to coincide with spring break. Do you have a trip planned, Mr. B, for spring break? Uh, we do not. We do, me neither, you know? <laughs> I'm just trying to get through every day, one day at a time, but uh, spring break, that's gonna be a fun time. And Ms. D, now it's one of my favorite parts of this show. I'm, I'm always ready, Mr. B. It's time for Ms. Ms. D's Thought of the Day. of Women's History Month, we have a quote from Michelle Obama, former First Lady of the United States. Don't be afraid. And here's her quote, don't be afraid, be focused, be determined, be hopeful, be empowered. Great words from Michelle Obama. Please excuse the interruption, we have a couple of announcements this week. Congratulations to Indoor Percussion Ensemble on a first place finish at Barnegat recently. The ensemble took first place in the music and visual captions in addition to first place in their group. 
Congratulations to the Marching Mustangs on a great performance at South Amboy's St. Patrick's Day Parade, as well as winning first place out of all the marching bands at last week's St. Patrick's Day Parade in Woodbridge. Great job. Great job. Please take a moment to appreciate our Hall of Her Story outside rooms 113 and 115. The Women's History Month project highlights women from different sectors from all around the world. The commemorative stamps focus attention on the contributions women have made and teach about women's history, women's rights, and women's ability to overcome various obstacles. Also, ongoing this month is the bulletin board by room 105A, where students and staff are encouraged to write the names of the women who have had a significant impact on their life. Please consider paying homage to a wonderful woman in your life. That board's looking pretty good too. Yeah, I see a lot, of, a lot of names up there. You know, so a lot of famous women, a lot, a lot of uh, moms and stuff, and a lot of teachers' names are up there too. So it looks like it's a, it's a great board. So it's that time again, Mr. B. Camelot Corner. We've got yearbook staffers, the amazing Christian Dilpreet here this week. <laughs> And you know, the year's flying by, it the yearbook is. is really cranking up, they're doing some great things, and I saw some sneak peeks of some things that I think are really going to amaze our, our audience, Absolutely. so I'm looking forward to it. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Dilpreet. Yearbooks are going out fast, we only have 50 yearbooks left to purchase, and many students who have not purchased, you may do so through visiting yearbookordercenter.com and using the code Two one five two zero. We wanted to take advantage of our little corner here and talk about some exciting things happening at John F. Kennedy Memorial High School. Our students, along with the members of the Stars Club, have been really busy beautifying our halls with a brand new mural in our main entrance. Be sure to stop by and check out their progress. It's quite an undertaking and they're doing an excellent job. We also hosted our Canvas and Paint afternoon with Ms. Petrusky and Ms. Napoli in honor of Women's History Month. They had an excellent turnout. The paintings were beautiful and the students and Dr. Lott had a fun time creating them. Hashtag Herstory. Our digital photography classes are enjoying the beautiful weather we're having this week by participating in photo walking. Photo walking is a communal activity of camera enthusiasts who gather in a group to walk around with a camera for the main purpose of taking photos of things that interest them. What are you doing in your classes? We would love to feature you on our show. Please let us know. Thank you, Camelot. The yearbook staff works hard documenting all aspects of Kennedy happenings. As they said, we would love to feature your classes, so please let us know what's going on in and around JFK. And if you're interested in having your class be a part of our live audience, we'd love to film in front of you. Please reach out. Ms. D, can you believe we're coming to the end of another show? I know, show? It, it's crazy, Mr. B. We want to thank everyone who came on the show today or sent in announcements. If you're interested in making an appearance, you can email our show's producer, Mrs. Rotella. We'd love to have you on. I mean, that's how we have the most fun. Is, Absolutely. Is, is showcasing all of our students and the great activities going on here at, at JFK. So, looks like another great episode, Mr. B. I think so. So, do you want to count it down today? Oh, or Ms. D. You want me to count, it, count down it down again? Yeah. Uh, oh, I got, got, I got Rusty's ready. I got my hat. I think we're good. All right. All right. And everybody in the audience on three, you know what we yell? Go <laughs> 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 All right. On three. Here we go, Mr. B. One, two, three. Go, go Deep and strong, and pride is based on.